interest in mathematics is declining in our society. It has become a dreaded subject that many students dismiss as boring and unimportant. However, math is very important in many aspects of our lives. One of these aspects is something mankind has cherished throughout the generations. Music. The collection of musical notes to form melodic songs is pleasing to almost everyone. However, most people don't think about the mathematical relationship between notes that sound good together. Math plays a huge role in the way music sounds. The Pythagorean scale is a collection of musical notes in which the relationship between each note is a ratio of 3 to 2. You can start with any note and derive the rest of the notes by multiplying the frequency of that note by 3 over 2. The notes we are going to be focusing on are D, A, E, and B. The frequency of D is 293.66 Hz. If we multiply that frequency by 3 over 2, because of the 3 to 2 ratio, we would get 440 Hz, which is the note A. If we keep doing this, we can get the rest of the notes on the scale. E is 660 Hz, and B is 990 Hz. As you can see, these frequencies are spread pretty far apart, which would make it difficult to play on an instrument. To fix this, the frequencies are cut in half to put all of the notes in the same octave. Now we'll demonstrate the 12 notes of the Pythagorean scale derived from the note D. The scales commonly used today aren't the ones created using Pythagoras' method. After Johann Sebastian Bach created his musical masterpieces, other scales such as the major and minor scales became more popular. Now we'll demonstrate the C major and C minor scales so you can hear the difference. These scales also have mathematical relationships, but not the same relationship as the 3 to 2 ratio in the Pythagorean scale. So whether it's Pythagoras or Bach, without math, the music that we listen to today would not be the same. <laughs> 